hi. Um, I uh, was up a little late last night and um, looking at YouTube again. Um, but I made a cup coffee. I'm sorry, my husband came in. So I had to pause you. Um, where was I? Oh yes, uh, YouTube last night. I wanted to see if I could actually make a cup cozy, and I did. I made it, I did it wrong. The last step, I did it wrong. I, it actually works out good, um, putting, oh, I don't have one in here. Let's see if this works. If this if this was the handle, I could just put it through this hole, and it fit. I tried it with one of my coffee cups last time, and it fit. So the part I did wrong is I hooked. I hooked this. I'm not supposed to because I'm supposed to crochet a chain. Um, so I could sew on a button and then just put the hoop behind the button. Um, but this works out perfectly. I tried it, um, just the right height for me, for my, well, not the cup that I drink. The cup that I drink from is, it's really thick. Um. But like one of those Christmas cups, coffee cups you find at the Dollar Tree or whatever stores around you that's like a Dollar Tree, um, it fit it fit perfectly in there. I was really happy with it. When I saw that, I'm like, oh man, I messed up. But I'm like, then I tried the cup and I'm like, no, I didn't. Just fine. So. I'm really happy with it. Really haven't been doing much of anything. Uh, the snow is still here. The Arctic like temperatures are still here. I did not send my kids to school today because it was, let's see, about eight degrees this morning. Um, just a second for oh, Mel's coming in. Sorry. Um, where was I? Yeah, I did not send my kids to school today because it was only like eight degrees and it only warmed up to 14 degrees today. So my kids did not go to school. I know that's bad. But they have to stand out, um, and the wind gusts is what actually gets you, because that just it just goes right through you. Um, my husband just got back from taking them sledding. We don't have a sled no more now because my eldest broke it. Don't know how he did it. I was not with him. I was here with our youngest. But today, I just, I basically cleaned. I knitted a little. I don't know. I think I might have to turn this into a hat. Um, I think that's pretty much what's going to happen. I did have the peg mark to go. Pearl knit, pearl knit, pearl knit. But then these two right here are odd men's out. Um, so yeah, um, I am experimenting. So my last wrap was an E wrap. 
which I don't know why I'm doing it now. I just wanted to see. Um, so this should be a pearl. A wrap pearl. See, the only thing is, when I get to these two that don't have one, I need to make up my mind if they're both knit or if they're both pearl. Um, right now, I, I'm, seriously, I'm just about ready to take this off of the loom and start over. Because it didn't, it didn't go the way I wanted it to, so. I think I might just rip it out. But then that's also a lot of yarn to, uh, wind back up. I'm I'm not sure. As I sit here and uh do it. So and I'm getting over being sick again. Uh, another sinus infection. I only have a little bit longer on the antibiotics the doctor gave me. He's like, how do you know it's a sinus infection? Well, um, I have a headache. My nose is runny, bleeding, dry. Inside my face hurts and it's swollen. He's like, well, if it's a viral infection, antibiotics is not going to help, but I'll give you one anyway. Which the antibiotics have been helping. Um, because that's what spike fevers. Oh my goodness, why I spike a fever? So... I just, I'm like, I gotta go, I gotta go to the, see a doctor or something. I can't keep having this. And then I went outside the other day, yesterday. Was it yesterday? Yes, yesterday. We spent some time outside with the kids. And, uh, any fat people companies that are watching this video, Talk to me. You send me some clothes of my size, I'll model them off for you on YouTube. And she, and uh, winter boots and a winter coat. Because I have none of those. I don't even have pants. So I wear dresses everywhere. personally was not uh, everyone's made for every season but I personally have figured out I hate winter and where we are is winter my husband and I and our three children are stationed in New York don't like it. I have not been this thick in forever. It's just, um, this year was good though. We usually have one sick kid every, uh, holiday season. Um, this year we all were well for Christmas. But then right after Christmas, I got sick. And I'm like, God, I'll take it. We were all well for Christmas. So. If I feel horrible for a couple days after Christmas, that's fine with me. Um, 
but I mean, ever since 10 years ago, we had, well, it would be 11 in February. 11 years ago, well, yeah, I'll just say 11. 11 years ago, it started with our, oh, okay. I got a blow my nose, I'll put you on hold. So yeah. We'll say about, uh, we'll say 11 years ago, we had our kid, <coughs> we had our oldest Jacob. He, he was a, he was a big baby. Back then, uh, back when I had my first one, uh, my husband's work did not offer health insurance. So I had to go through the health department, which they are amazing. I love the health department. Um, granted, they can only do so much because the government only gives them so much money. Uh, but my care was excellent. They, I think they knew I was high risk, but I just couldn't afford the um, high risk doctor. Which that, that's sad, but it was true. Um, So he came out eight pounds and three ounces. And at that point, I did not know I was a diabetic at all. Did not know that I had asthma. Um, really did not know any of that. So. Eight pounds like a good size baby. Our first two kids were actually real well. Jacob was the big was the uh chubby one. My uh, my uh middle one he was nine pounds. And uh the three ounces. So he wasn't chubby, he was long. Uh, well, they knew I was high risk for him. So uh, they had me on a special diet. I didn't gain weight. The baby, the Max, that's his name, Max gained the right size weight. He was perfect. He was great. Um, but get this. Sorry, I pulled my hair. The doctor who gave me the C-section came in the room the next day <clears throat> and said, Heather, you probably could have pushed him out. Mm. I'm like, oh, okay. I pushed Jacob out with no drugs. Well, they put it in my system, but did not give me enough. So a whole natural birth with Jacob. With Max? Epidural, baby. Epidural, bitch. Give me that epidural. They had to anyway. So they had to numb me from the, the, from the waist down. And the doctor who did it, <clears throat> he's a great doctor. I, I I hold him in respect. But the doctor who did my C-section screwed it all up. He, uh, I developed a C-section. I mean, I developed an infection in my C-section. So I was in the hospital for an extra two freaking weeks. And then, um, 
he couldn't close me up. He had to leave me open. But he did, uh, he closed me to where nothing would, like, none of my stuff from the inside would, uh, leak out. So, ooh. And I'm, I'm not a small person. I have, where this, where the cuts are, are in my spare tire. And you're all thinking out there, so why don't you lose the weight? Well, it's easier said than done. With being a diabetic and me getting older and asthma and my spine, a part of my spine small, uh, slowly slipping out in my knees and my hips, it's not easy. It, it's really not. Um... You're not, you're not lying. You're like, yeah, we've all hurt. Everyone hurts. Everyone has pain. Every, it affects everybody in different ways. And me, I'm lucky if I get stuff done around my house. Um, today I got a lot done because I felt good. Um, but I just took a, top, a couple of Tylenol because from the fall yesterday, my back is starting to hurt. Um, excuse me. and then with Thomas, our youngest, I was still high risk pregnancy. Um, I got preeclampsia, I hyperten had hypertension, so I was monitored really close. It's like going to the doctor every week kind of close. Uh, being a high risk doctor and a normal OBGYN doctor, and an endocrinologist doctor. And then after I had Thomas, oh, he was emergency C-section. He, I was thinking amniotic fluid. No one believed me. And so the high-risk doctor did a check. She's like, yeah, you, he needs to be taken now. Take him now. His lungs were not fully developed. So he was born at 35 weeks. Um, he was in the NICU. I did, after they took him out, I didn't even get to, I didn't get to see him. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't get to have that first year. They just, they just took him up to the NICU. His lungs were not developed. He was not breathing on his own. I couldn't get up and walk around. I think I was in the hospital maybe three or four days. They didn't cut me in the same spot where I wanted them to fix it. They cut a lot lower. I mean, a lot lower. Um, right. So he was in the NICU for two weeks. And he came home on our middle son's birthday. So Thomas was born January 13th. And Mac was born January 20th. All my kids are six years, I mean four years apart. So they're like, Max, you're getting a brother for your birthday. He's coming home on your birthday. He was, he was happy because then that means that every other day me and Craig would trade off to go feed him and change him up in the NICU. Um, 
his brothers couldn't go back there to see him. Wires coming out of his belly button. He had coming out of his nose. It, it was hard. I know every mom that has a kid in the NICU that goes through that. But I wanted him to be home with me. But I just, I just had to remind myself that was the best place for him. Um, and he's out there in the living room right now, running around. He is. He's delayed. He, he's not talking. He took him for, he had torticollis when he was born. Then he had to have PT, speech, and OT. And then up here in New York, he has two speech people and an OT. It's hard. And it's only going to get harder for me because they want him, his speech people want him to start a school. I'm like, is any parent ever really ready for their child to start, child to start school? But get this, it was harder on me for my Jacob to go to school. But guess what? I got used to it. I'm like, shit, yeah. I can clean the house. I can go run errands. I can go to the doctors without, you know, I was happy to take a freaking shower or use the bathroom without a kid in the house. Oh, yes, I'm free. And then Max comes home. And this will be nothing. It, it wasn't nothing. I was like, yeah, go on. Just put him on time, different bus. Comes home with his brother on the bus. Oh, yeah, I got this. So I got used to it. And now with him, now with Thomas, he'll turn three on the 13th of January. <laughs> Up here, they don't start school till they're about five or six. And, uh, But he, Thomas, does not do very good with someone that, with people he don't know. So, it's going to be, it's going to be, oh my gosh, it's, it's going to be something to, uh, now what the hell, it's going to be hard for me. Because I can have them home for the first three to four years by myself to get him ready for school. Uh, Granted, when he does start the school that he, that they want him to go to, he'll be almost ready to turn four. So, we'll see. Um, but he'll only be gone for maybe five hours a day. So, in that five hours, I'll have be able to take a shower, pick up a little bit, uh, go to Michael's, work on, try to work on some more crafts. My kids are going to break down the door. Okay, they're fine. Um, get doctor's appointments out of the way. You know, I just, it's good to have that me time. I need a lot of that me time. Because I don't get a lot of that me time. So, I'm, I wanted to, when, if we didn't have Thomas with my two oldest, if, when they were in school full time, full time, I was going to go get a part-time job, but I can't do that now with my back, and it sucks. Um, da -da. But. We've got new time. 
Let me see my little dimple. I've got a lot of skin here. Those dimples would stick out. Um, but no, I think the first week I'll be like, oh, we're finding the new school. And then it's done. But I'm just over it. We need to go to school. Go to school, kids. Go to school. So, but I see. Oh, we'll see how it is. Um, I have just sit here and rambled on for over 25 minutes. Um, I know it's crazy because a lot of you people don't even look at this stuff. So I'll take a swig of my drink. So I guess that's all I got. Um, when I get done with what I'm doing, I'll, uh, I'm, I'm gonna try to make another one of these. Uh, try not to mess it up. Um, but I've got some more colors I can use. I could do of that. So, the sky is the limit. So, I guess that's really all I have. I hope if you watch that I make sense because sometimes I, I don't know a lot about what's going on in the world, but I do know about my world and that's good enough for me. Thanks for watching.